Hi, my name is Joseph Taylor and you're watching Homeschooling Daddies. Now, a few days ago, you probably saw a video with my family and us in Portland, Oregon uh, for the 4th of July holiday. And in that video, you saw that I went and did a haul from the Yankee Candle outlet store there in Woodburn, Woodburn Oregon, right? So, well, guess what? This episode is all about that haul. So you make sure that you tune in right after this little intro. Thanks. Welcome back. Well, first of all, this haul is going to be from the Yankee Candle Outlet Store in Woodburn, Oregon. And I want to send a special shout out to Sharon and Kim for all their help in that store. They prayed that I was crazy buying out all these candles, but this is why. <laughs> all right. So again, I did a really big haul. I needed Yankee Candles because I haven't done any really big Yankee Candle shopping until I actually, since I worked for the company over a decade ago. So all my candles that I've had over the years are burned out. I'm even down to just little tarts and votives from like 2005, 2006. So I needed this little haul, all right? So let's get started. I'm gonna get started with the medium candles. When I was there, the medium candles were on sale three for 25. And um, the medium candles isn't the usual medium sized candle that you thought. I mean, yeah, it's like, that size was in there but they also had like other sizes that were considered medium so I went ahead and bought six candles uh, which they were like I said they were on sale for three for 25 so let's get started I tried to find candles that had the original Yankee label on them because I'm feeling pretty um, nostalgic because Yankee candle was my first big boy job <laughs> and so um, so I really love the original labels that the original um, team created and so I tried to find as many candles as I could with that label and the first one in the medium jar that I found was vanilla pumpkin again this isn't a review of a candle this is just simply my haul and cold smelling candles um, for the first time are giving you my description of what they smell like cold um, I will be doing reviews. I might do some separate e episodes um, with just reviews alone. But I'm thinking what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add the reviews within my, my family vlogs. When I do my family vlogs, what I'll probably do is at the beginning of the day, I was like, Hello, friends and family. Today, I'm going to be burning vanilla pumpkin. And so um, I'll light it first thing in the morning. I'll let it burn all day. And as the day goes on, we'll just briefly check in on it and see what it smells like. So if you think that's a cool idea, comment below. Let me know what you think. All right. So anyways, like I said, when I smell candles, I don't look at the notes. I don't look at what scents are inside of it. I go by what I feel it smells like. All right. I just look at the label. I look at the name. And then I automatically conjure up all these memories and taste buds in my mouth of what that tastes like and what it smells like and then I smell it and I come to my own conclusion my own judgment of what scents I smell in it I smell pumpkin I do smell the vanilla I smell a little bit of nutmeg cinnamon and a dash of clove now if that's what's in there that's what's in there but that's what I smell all right so i'm looking forward to this candle i've always loved yankee candles pumpkin candles so and i've never had this one before so i'm extremely excited about it okay so the second candle i got again is a candle that i've never smelled before it has the original label and the name of this candle is um, berry trifle so and i've never smelled this before well the store i smelled it but i mean before i've never smelled it Mmm. I can definitely smell like cherries, cranberries. Mmm. It smells really good. You know what? It almost smells like a, a combination between a cherry Jolly Rancher and a watermelon Jolly Rancher. If you were to put both of those candies in your mouth at the same time, that's what it would smell like, right? <laughs> 
I know, I always compare things to Jolly Ranchers. They were just my favorite candy as a kid. But yeah, that's what it smells like, and I'm really excited to burn this one. Now, the third medium-sized candle that I got, it's not in one of their apothecary jars, but it's in one of their newer jars that they like to put things in. And that's North Pole. Now, I had never smelled this before. It wasn't out when I worked for the company. Mm, but it does have a clean peppermint scent to it. I really hate smelling these tins. They really need to do it in glass. I mean, that's just my opinion because the glass, at least, you know, the smell can go inside. But, um, but yeah, it has a clean, crisp peppermint smell. It's not overpowering or anything like that. So I don't know what it's going to be like when I burn it, but when I review it again, I'll be reviewing it on the throw, whether it's um, weak, moderate, or, or strong. And I have, uh, assumption that it's going to be weak to moderate so this might be best to be burned in a small area but yes oh it smells really good i just wish it was in, in one of the um the other jars and then the fourth candle i got is uh yankee candle home classic snowberry and i just absolutely love the design of this this jar that's one of the reasons I got it. But then also because of the scent. I've never smelled the scent before either. And it actually has sort of like a, it has like a cranberry, cherry uh, smell, but there's also like a hint of vanilla in there too. So it has a really good scent. And they only had a few of these left. Um, I sort of did want to buy all of them because I feel they make really great Christmas presents. But I didn't, I just got one. So I'm gonna be probably burning this one very slowly. But it's funny, every time I open it, I get like sort of different scent. Like when I just opened it right now, strangely enough, I got like a hint of banana, strangely enough. But it has like a sweet smell and that's why I love it. I love sweet smelling candles. All right, so now on to the fifth candle, medium candle. Now, unfortunately this has one of their new labels. Um, or at least a label that I've never seen before and um, so anyways and it definitely has like a different wick in it and so it's gonna be interesting to see how this burns and then also to see what the throw is on it but I got it because it reminded me of a scent that I've been looking for that Yankee Candle had in 2005 called um, oh my god what's it called I can't think of it now it's like clove and citrus or something like that. It's clove and citrus and it was part of their YC line and it was in those um, fancy design jars. They weren't in the apothecary jars but they were in like a different type of jar. Um, but this is spiced orange and I have been looking for that, that 2005 candle for so long. I'm just down to it in votives. I'll pull it out um, tomorrow and in my next Yankee video, I'll show you the candle I'm talking about. So maybe some of you out there have a suggestion of where I can find it or a scent that's very similar to it. But this is like the closest I found to where it has like that citrus smell. It has a clove smell. It almost smells like orange cider. Um, yeah, like if you were to make orange cider, you put cloves in it and cinnamon. That's what it smells like. It's sort of like um, juicy fruit gum. Yeah, juicy fruit gum. That's another way I used to describe it to people. It smelled like juicy fruit gum. Um, but yeah, but see, I can tell already that this wick is like a different type of wick than they used to use. So I'm very interested to see how this is going to burn. Um, but yeah, this smells so good. Ugh. So I'm putting all my hopes into this new label, into this new candle, so we'll see. All right, and then finally, the sixth medium candle that I got is actually this huge three wick, and it's considered a medium candle. And this one is Peach Basket. And it smells like peaches. In fact, if you are all around my age and you went to school during the, during the late 70s and and 80s. I'm talking about elementary school. You went to elementary school during the late 70s and early 80s. And have you ever had those like scratch off stickers and you had a peach one? 
that's what this smells like <laughs> so um so yeah it has a really great scent it has like almost like a candy peach scent flavor in fact there was a candy oh my god this is conjuring up a thought there was even a candy i i hate to say it but i think it was a jolly rancher from the ninth no you know what it is it's peach jello if you've ever had peach jello that's what this candle smells like it smells like peach jello because i can even picture the jello in my head now how it has like that light um peach color like this color oh my goodness yeah this is what it smells like peach jello that's a perfect description of what this candle smells like so if you like peach jello the smell of peach jello buy this candle i'm sure you can find it online if not in the store mm. so all right so those were my medium candles now i did find a gift set they had a gift set of two medium jars for 9.99 and this is what i got so both of these are basically like for five dollars each which are cheaper than the other jars that i got that were about eight probably eight dollars and a few cents so these that came in the scent is vanilla lime again this is another one that i've never smelled before mm. and at first hit you smell the lime and then as you inhale more you smell the vanilla mm. so yes so i'm looking forward to burning this and it has a picture of a margarita on it and i think yankee has a margarita candle out and i had smelled it before and it stank um but this one actually does smell like margarita so it's strange that they didn't call this one margarita and so the second one which happens to be my all-time i should say one of my all-time favorites from yankee is their buttercream i simply adore their buttercream and i was like looking online and i saw that the only place to get this candle is online so if anyone knows why yankee candle is not selling buttercream in the stores anymore please let me know um but yeah but this when i worked for the company this was their top seller was buttercream oh my god okay so those are my medium jars